Loish, the queen of arts I might say. I wanted to unravel the secret that lies within her art. What made her so damn good? And most importantly, could I get there too? With all these questions, I set out on a journey to find out what was Loish's big secret. At the start I had to find out what made Loish's style so unique. To do that, I needed images. A lot of images. So I decided to go buy her sketchbook. It shows her sketching process and honestly if you're looking for an amazing book, go buy it now. I'll leave a link down in the description. Her style is very easily recognizable by her character's large eyes and more compressed other facial features. Making for a very cute look in her characters. Now she can also draw like this. But most of her work that I've seen is more towards this style. Flipping through the pages, I noticed her very flowy and dynamic gestures in both her full character poses and even her portraits. I mean, just look at this flow. Wow! Your eyes are just sliding through the picture. Her lines are very loose, yet she manages to get the structure by using different line weights to a very high level. To fully understand her process, I needed to try my hand at a few short gestures. Usually when drawing gestures, I try to focus more on anatomy, but looking at Loge's work made me use more flowy lines and simple shapes to create very strong dynamic and flowing poses. Now I had a very hard time sketching faces the way she does. Her way is very loose and with very soft shapes, while I tend to lean more towards sharp angles and hard lines. This way really got me to loosen up and actually feel the rhythm of the art. Now before I got into my illustration, I needed to see what really made her pieces stand out the way they do. So I started searching. Lois is a master of simplification. She tends to use a very simple way of rendering skin, yet it looks absolutely stunning. It tends to only use a few colors for the highlight, midtones and shadows. Sometimes she even makes the shapes very clear for a more graphic effect. This is, in my opinion, a very charming way to present your sketches. She's also the queen of glowing effects. I mean, come on, just look at this. How can you not just fall in love with these pieces? The way they just tell a story using the scale and composition, it's mwah, chef's kiss. Now, with all this newfound information under my belt, it was time to get started. This is the artwork that I used for inspiration for my own piece. I started off with a very loose sketch, the way I had seen her do it. I tried keeping in a good dynamic gesture with the hair and the jellyfishes to create a more flow in the piece that she has across hers. Now with this sketch it was hard to get the proportions right because I'm so used to drawing in a whole different style so just jumping right in on this more Disney style was very hard on me. I had the tendency to make characters look like frogs whenever I tried to draw them with these big eyes so I had to watch out for that. I really didn't want my finished piece to look like Shrek. After the sketch was done, I needed to get some base colors down just to get the image started. So with a large soft brush in Photoshop, I started slapping in colors to get a nice base to work from. This rough color composition just helped me see the full piece before it was even done. The colors in Loge's work is usually very poppy with a lot of blues and peach color. This is also one of the things that makes her work just instantly recognizable as Loge. Also with this vibrant coloring, I had to be careful to not make it too vibrant and make it into a deep fried meme. I had seen that Lois usually incorporates her line work into her pieces. She just colors it in a different way, so that's what I tried to do. Still working with a soft brush to get some nice simple color variations in the piece. Now to the lighting. She's being lit by the jellyfish in front. So using the lasso tool and the soft brush, I started sculpting in the light on her face. Now I kept sculpting in the light and the shadows and kept that bluish light from the top in mind so she just didn't look too dark. Then it was just about rendering the piece. I started blending colors together and I added some textures here and there to get a nice feel for the piece. I also decided to add some rim light to the right side of the piece just to get some more texture there. And with all that work done, this was the final result. Now I'm kinda happy with the finished result. I'm not at all used to drawing in this style so just trying it out was a fun journey to be on. So what was Loish's secret to creating such amazing art? Well, she creates these amazing pieces with a story behind them by using composition and flowing lines to lead the viewer on a journey through the piece. Did I succeed in that? Maybe not yet, but I'll get there at some point. Watching this you might think to yourself, I don't even know how to draw faces yet, or even a nose. Well, you're in luck, you can learn that right here, so I'll see you over there, thank you, bye bye.